morning. Hey, look. So Mr. Scrappity was sitting on the couch, and, and I was watching some TV. It's funny how that works. Like, he was sitting on the couch, but I was watching TV. Anyway, uh, look, I, out the corner of my eye, I saw this horse run under my couch, right? You're thinking, you saw a horse run under your couch? Oh, I did. I did. Would you look at that thing? Would you look at that thing? Anyway, yeah. So I saw that run under the couch. And I was like, oh my god. Now I have to move my couch. <laughs> So I moved the couch, and, and, if it bleeds, we can kill it, and it bled, so we killed it, but anyway, would you look at that monster? But part of good animal stewardship being, once you smash the shit out of them, you gotta turn them loose there. <laughs> I wouldn't stay out there for too long, but we finally got out on Lake Scrappity this winter. Speaking of this winter, apparently Snowmageddon's supposed to arrive this evening. Um, I don't know. Ten inches, two feet, who knows. I've heard it said before, if you do not go, you will not know. So Mr. Scrappity says, Tally ho. You know what we could do? Let's see. I bet we could do this. I bet we could make it stay still. If we put a little string around it. What do you think? Something like that. Scoops, it's a start, all those things. Forward. We don't really need gloves for this one, but we'll throw them on anyway.
Drive time. Hey, so I seen old Scrappin' Pat thinks he's gonna be like a shock jock or something. Is that the idea? I don't know. Like, you can call in, there's gonna be a 1 800 number or something. Something like that. Uh, uh, will there be ladies? Are you gonna have a Sibian? <laughs> Uh, I bet if he had a Sibian in the studio, he'd probably go cut the cord off of it. We all know how he loves cords. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, that one's all water damaged. This one doesn't seem half bad. It was kind of nice looking until we picked it up. What was that? We'll snatch that up. You're all like, snatch what up, Mr. Scrappity? This. Pretty heavy. And I'm proud of what I do. I don't care if people look down on me. This is my job and I'm proud of it. I like doing it. I see some easy money. What is it? What is it, Mr. Scrappity? What's that? I don't know. What is that? It's a snowblower. It's a lawn boy snowblower. Let's rearrange, let's rearrange the house a little bit here. Good enough.
need to put a little piece of rope on that tire. Pull it forward just a little bit. Because the tailgate closes, but it does kind of get in the way. Let's advance. Let's play TV roulette. Does it work? Does it not? Let's take it back to the barn and find out. Scoopage. get it where it might stay down in there. Scoops. Nice baby crib. They sell if they're not drop side. You cannot sell drop side baby cribs. But uh, hear, my, hear me whistle my S's like John McCain. Heavy denture slip. I'm just kidding. I ain't got no dentures. Anyway, uh, yeah, them things sell. But that one was complete in one piece. And that's going to take up the whole wagon. So uh, if they would have taken it apart, I might have stopped and had a look. But uh, you ain't got room for that. But point being, there's a baby crib. We almost passed that one up fan heater I don't know it's a Hoover I didn't know Hoover's made these things filter reset must be an air filter huh looks like scrap to me there's golden in there streets huh that's kind of random ain't it the top to a water softener and all its little copper trinkets. Looks like scrap to me. Oh, Mr. TV fell over. Let's stand him up. And then we should have room for the microwave. Like a glove. I don't want to make a mess trying to pull none of that out of there. There's a piece of wire. I think those go on a bicycle. Maybe. I don't know. Like I know anything about bicycles. I don't know, you think a feller could sell that bed frame? Hmm. It 
it's got me thinking. It's solid wood, but it's very brady looking. Would you not agree? Don't that look like a very brady headboard? Couple of chairs there too, and then here's this Christmas tree sort of a decoration thing. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it. Bad call, good call, who knows. Let's cut its tail off. Let's do some more of that, uh, advancing type stuff. Well, that's it. Back to the barn. That way. So I grabbed 12 long stems, a big old case of that Pontiac Fiero Rocher, and some, um, Ghirardelli's or Ghirardelli's or, I don't know, whatever it is, a bunch of chocolate. You know, a potato chip wagon would make a good scrapping vehicle. Speaking of potato chips, you think that little wagon in front of us has enough or what? Woo! Hey, look, while we was gone, Roger got out into his wagon and broke free from the icy grip of winter here. Anyway, let me finish backing up. Which means I had to get out and open the gate, or else we're just gonna back right through it. Which probably wouldn't hurt it none. I mean, it wouldn't look any different. Um, she's hungry. You can see the rubber burnt down there in the street, so he must have had him, must have had him a time. Don't bark at me like that. I thought for sure this thing was going to crash into the TV and crack it up, but it doesn't appear to be cracked. Um, we'll see if it works here in a little bit. It's actually quite heavy. What do we got? What did we get? I don't know. Let's find out. High craft, made in the USA. That looks like a good one. Uh, same deal. A couple of nice big flatheads. It's a 5 8 What kind of a punch has a Phillips head looking? Is that for concrete or something? There's a couple of wrenches. Uh, master mechanic. It's got my name all over it. Don't fall. Hunter's hoist. 
I use that for like when you climb up in the tree and you pull your gun and shit up there with you. Uh, and some craftsmen. Some more old timey wood handles. It's all that high craft stuff. Big chunk of lead. Oil filter wrench. BOG Manufacturing Company, Chicago. I don't know. Another chunk of lead. Um, Thorson, Oakland, California. New York City. No, I didn't say New York City. I said California. California. Um, anyway, we'll plug that TV in here a bit. I'm going to go inside for a while. We didn't get a whole lot. Mostly scrappy bits. And, uh, might be able to sail a snow. I know we can sail a snowblower. Might be able to sail that shelf. We could probably sail this thing if I don't keep what's in it. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, that was Sunday. And I've been Mr. Scrappity and it's still really cold out here. And it's supposed to get even colder and even more snow. And It is what it is, right? This thing working? I had a feeling before I went inside and took my boots off, I said to myself, I said, hey self, you should go ahead and carry that snowblower on around to the front side of the barn because more than likely if she posted up on there, somebody's going to be like, man, can I come get that snowblower? But then I was like, you know what self, it's already starting to get dusky out here. They say we're going to have one to three inches by the morning time. I doubt anybody's going to come out tonight. Well, me old self was right. We should have carried it around front while we had our boots on. Because it's the same day sail type action. Did I not tell you when I seen this thing on the side of the road? Did I not tell you? I said, hey look, I see some money. Running or not. Although it does sound like it wants to. It's got good compression and all that mechanic talk ow I got Miss Cherry filled up on straight corn squeezing Actually, you know what? If we put it up here, we'll be able to see them better. That'll work. Ah, I'm sliding. I'm going to fall and die. Ain't nothing getting through that. <laughs> uh, all right, it's cold out here. Let's go back inside and look out the window. What do you say? Ooh. Where's the damn button at on this thing? Hey, I think I may have failed to mention uh, the person purchasing the snow throwing device is also getting them two little storage thingies we had sitting in the kitchen. So that's a win. Anyway, let's peek out the window. Message.
shoes? I don't know. I have not seen your shoes. <laughs> I don't know, I just keep sliding back and forth. Smitty X-Man. X-Man? Smitty X-Man. Diddy? On what, your snowblower? Well, Smitty X-Man shit out of luck. Because <laughs> it done sailed. Phew. Well, we got the wagon unloaded. Starting to look like a record burger around here, ain't it? H.H. H. Greg? I don't know. One of these scratch and dent specialist type places. Uh, if this snow ever melts down to a reasonable amount, we'll load some of this stuff up and get rid of it. Until then, uh, it's not going anywhere. So, uh, but that's been your Sunday. We had some same day Sunday sale type action, and we found a few things like the curb. And uh, I, did you know you didn't know that, did you, Mister Scrappy? He's also an exterminator. Yeah. Uh, what the hell's he always say? What you think about that? What you think about that, huh? I'm an exterminator. I didn't know that. I don't like spiders, though, so if you've got spider problems, call somebody else. Some things are horrible. Speaking of, better get back inside. It's still down there somewhere. Anyway, yeah, that was Sunday. Did you have fun? I had fun. Hey, look, so Mr. Scrappity don't have like seven months of built up viewer mail that we can sit here and make a seven hour video out of, but uh, I thought we could do this. How about some mystery box type action? Do you like mystery box type action? Well, see, we don't have any actual mystery boxes, but I had a box and I thought we could just fill it with mystery. So what I did is I had the Reaper fill it with random items from around the house. And see what makes it mysterious is I don't know what she put in it, and neither do you. So, you, you, you want to find out? I think I want to find out. I want to know what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Do you want to know what's in the box? Because I want to know what's in the box. Let's find out what's in the box. Mystery box action with Mr. Scrappity. We have a roll of toilet paper. Uh, it's Scott's. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to spoil these youngins, man. Uh, you know, you get one ply or you can go to McDonald's. Uh, um, uh, uh, what else have we got here? We got a Slim Jim. She knows me well. Look, uh, we got, we got some dinner. Hey. <laughs> Two Farkles. They look like new ones too. That's the, uh, that's the new species. I guess, whatever. Uh, that's this Pink Ranger. I recall this girl. We found her not too long ago. She has, um, Go go leg action, ready for disco dance time. I don't know. Anyway, um, one red glove. 
that's cool. An orange marker. A doorknob appears to be your standard interior. Uh, you could use it for a bathroom for, you know, I mean, it wouldn't have to be like a closet per se because it is locking. You know, you lock yourself inside the closet, I don't know. And we have a copy of Captain Phillips. Is that, is that old Hanks? Is that what that is? I am your mystery box captain now.